Hello everyone and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Minish Cat. Now previously I was trying to get this to go off and it turns out I was doing it wrong. Whoops. What you have to do is you have to drop a bomb, pick it up, and throw it. And that's how you get the bridge to extent. I'm gonna go pick up some more bombs. Like, I knew bombs had to be something, but it took me quite a while to figure out to throw them. So, that's just one of those little Zelda puzzles that makes sense, and they give you the clues that you need to know. It just takes a while, so. Stupid propellers. Um. Okay, I'll say. And. This does not look like a difficult puzzle here. You just have to move this into that hole. And here we go. We have it. Now this is going to be all about figuring out how these move. And that was not difficult at all, was it? A kinstone piece! I'm looking forward, really looking forward to using those. And then we can just kind of run through this little passageway. Ignore the little bugs, because they're just good. There's a lot of them that just get in the way. That one never killed. Or at least it. Melody's Mind. Ting along, tongue along, dig along for iron. Talk to you. This mine belongs to Malari and us, his seven apprentices. Do you ting a long, tong a long, all long way? They need to get your sword repaired? The boss is down on the lowest level. Well, let's go inside here. There are beds. And there are no pots for me to smash. Actually, I should check out this room first, because it's probably just a room. Yep, just a room. I bet later there's some little kinstone pieces in there. Ting tong tong long. Deep down, dig down, dig joy in the ground. So yeah, you just gotta go straight to Melari. Melari! Green clothes and an odd hat? Sure, might you be young in? I am Malari, Master Smith. I hear you want me to reforge the sacred sword and help you break a curse. I'll be needing the old sword which holds the power of the elements first. Show me that broken Picori blade. I love all of this adventure, what with the rescuing of princesses and such. I'd be happy to reforge this thing into a brand new sacred blade for you. It'll take a, me a while to rework your sword. In the meantime, you should track down the missing elements. One of them should be in the mine the humans dug. It's not far from here. Alright, let's get started. It'll be a while, Ian. Let's leave them 
to it and find that element. Okay. Can I go through here? What? You're going into the mine? You can talk to the boss? I won't stop you, but be careful. So yeah, I guess the question of the day for this week is going to be, uh... Of all the Zelda puzzles that are rather simple, well, but you just can't seem to get like that one with the bomb earlier. What one do you always like to you the most? Mine was in a Twilight Princess. Um, the Water Temple in Twilight Princess. That took me forever. Um, I go up, yeah. Because there's one little part where you have to look up. And I just never thought to look up. Find out how much we can get out of here. Arts. Alright, um, I think it's this way. Okay, so that we go this way on our way back, so we have to go this way. Good to know. If only whoa, 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 bumps, 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 bumps. I bet bombs are gonna be rather useful in this journey. Your sword will make a dent in their thorny armor. Flip them over before you strike. There we go. What's this? The compass. I'll use the compass later. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot all about those things. Like 110% forgot about them. nervous about bombs in a game like this when any game that you have a limited resource or something, even if they are constantly replenishing it, I get nervous. Bad you. And so we follow the minecart track. This must be what the humans built to mine. This must be what the humans who built this mine used to get around in here. Maybe we should hop in. Huh? What? After all this, you don't expect me to believe you're scared? There's nothing to be afraid of here. Come on, let's go! That's probably closer to what, um, what's his name again? Ezlo? Scary. Oh, but it killed the... Sweet chunky jellyfish, that was awful! Hey kid, what are you smiling about? I knew this madness was to risk our lives in that wicked human contraption. From now on, let's stick to our feet. Well, I mean, your feet. 
Those are going to be useful whenever I find a portal becomes small. So we can go through. Okay, and I bet if we kill all of these, we might get something in that. been unmasked, now I just gotta hunt them down. There's portals in the way here. Hmm. Whenever you want me to shrink you, just hop on there and press R. I think I will shrink, thank you. And look, there's a little portal here. Oh snap, I have to just dodge these guys completely. Nothing I can do going that way. That's too big for me. I guess I can't just like gain like 50 hearts or something. Playing twos. Let's what's here, what's here? Ooh, dead thing. Dungeon map. Alright, but I know that this is the dungeon where I get the cane of Pachi. Barely. Okay, this time we're gonna do it. And then run out.
and now I have to reset the level because I messed up. I don't think I'm actually supposed to really. I did. I have to stop on it when it's going back, not when it arrives. And level has been reset. That's one thing that's kind of nice about like the Pokemon games that uh, the puzzles are never like that. Rupees, not bad. Whoa, ow. Random hole. I have to get that from the other side. Here's what I do. Okay, that's not just a really random pull. It is part of a puzzle to get an item. Probably some rupees. Or a small key. I'm okay with a small key. It can open small doors. I'm back here. I believe if I go this way, maybe that uh, there was some locked doors. A locked door right here. Alright, let's see. How far can I get? Okay, I hit it with the sword. There's, um, the track changed, so now if I go back over here, hop in here, Still can't get that health crystal. Need some bombs. Need to not just stay on top of my bombs. Took a little bit of damage to make that actually easier. I'm in the piece of heart. Ooh, I got a fifth heart, yo. There's a six heart, technically. I don't want that one, though. Mini boss time. So that has no effect on them. Stay back, you metal chews. Metal thorny chews. 
Okay, that was actually that bad. But that did seem to be a mini boss, so maybe this is the Cane of Pachi! As a mystical power to flip things over. Use it to charge up energy from the holes and flip them out of it. So it flips things over. So whoever was Pachi who made this thing was awesome. Fire in that pool, you never know what will happen until you try, right? Turn a hole upside down, and it turns into a jump, the trampoline. Then I gotta push this into this hole so I can't really play with it. I got a small key. So I can use this key. Here. Doesn't have to run a little long, but I think I'm reaching the end ish. I didn't actually see what was in inside this one, like uh so let's actually get small and fall. Okay, nothing. And I need to do this so I have a way across. There's a big thing. There's a make me big. Make me big, make me big. And... Ah, there are blades of death. Okay, now this whole thing makes sense. I have to do that in order to uh, get the ball. No! Okay, let's go back and do this properly. Do I have a way of... Because I believe I want to put one of them here. Or, but I only have this one last one. And it's not like I can grab this. Maybe I just have to go... After I flip the switch, I reset it. Oh wait, no, I just have to... I'm dumb dumb. I have to put this in that hole over here. Which makes sense, I have to connect the lever over to the thing that opens it. The thing that the lever opens. Up to the daisy. It doesn't just assume you know it knows where you're going. Oh, 
what's over here? So close. Okay, so I really do need to flip it on the one before. That was stupid of me. Oh, currently, all of them are in the right position, so it's pretty easy. See how I did that? That was awesome. I can go up here. Um, I hope I'm going the right way. Because there's also that path that I could also be on. <clears throat> for a Kimson piece. Oh. Okay, so I'm supposed to be over there. So yeah, this is the correct way to go in terms of progressing. That way only gets me Kimson. Going down. And then go here. And then I have to follow that little path in the ground. See the odds colors? I just gotta follow those. And it takes me over here. Is my wallet... I just realized my wallet's full. this thing. Okay, and now I hope I'm going the right way again. Basically, at this point, you just find all the tornadoes and you stay afloat so you don't fall into lava. Kinstone piece. I should have gone the other way, but I'm dropping up here. Yep, I was just go the other way. I go this way. And now we're at part we're supposed to be at. Drop down. Got the big key. And that right big key. I can portal back to the beginning so I can go back and like heal or whatnot. Um
But that's where I'm wanting to be right now. Right there. Man, this is how we get there. down really really far okay now possibly what we gotta use because this is the item that we got in this yank level oh it's the dragon dude you don't scare me dragon because you can hurt yourself with your own shell okay what oh his neck falls and I have to end it. It's a bridge. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. ow that's not fair. That's not fair. That's not fair. No cheese. And that was not nearly as effective. Oh, the fire is the pool is growing, the pool is growing. Okay, it's not saying good. Run around with only one space? That would have sucked. And I pressed R instead of B. Ow! There's an awful lot of fire. Time should kill. Now that we got the fires out of the way, yeah. Yeah. I know it doesn't work when he. To the ow, ow, god, god. Oh, god. But I have a fairy. So, no death day. It's going to be another death, though, if I keep playing like this. Stop guarding your soft spot. Makes it significantly harder to kill you. Let's switch 
over. Stop with the fire. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I do need to make it safer. I can't maneuver around right at the moment. Really? Stop putting my ass on fire! Get this kill, please kill, please kill, please kill. Yes! So oh god. I did not want to do that again. Whew. Wow, the lava cooled off super quickly. And the element of fire. You got the fire element! Flames bring light to darkness and warmth to all. The fire element is the embodiment of that power. A heart container! Your life has increased and is fully replenished. We got two heart containers in this episode, yeah? Well, that was hot! It was so hot! I thought my fire would catch fire. But it's all over now. I suppose we should go and speak to Malari. That is the voice I gave him. I should stick with it. Okay, and now I can hop down and see what's here. Nope, that's just a shortcut. I fill it with power and then I hop in. If it doesn't fill with power, no use in hopping in. Malari's mines. Malari! Wow, that was fast work! But not so fast I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this new blade the White Sword. You got the White Sword. It's beautiful white blade sparkles with light. Put away your grandfather's sword now. Once you infuse it with the power of the elements, it will become a sacred blade. The Forest Elder no doubt told you this part. But if you want to infuse the sword, you must go to the Elemental Sanctuary. The Sanctuary is a strange realm, trapped between two worlds. It is the bridge between the Minish world and the human world. The doorway to the Sanctuary opens only once every hundred years. You'll find that door hidden within Hyrule Castle. Once the blade has been filled with the power of the four elements, you should be able to be able to break the curse on your beloved princess. I know you can do it. After all, you made short work of that human mind. Let me tell you about a shortcut you can use to get down from the mountain. You'll find it right in front of the entrance you just explored. Just follow that and you'll be down in no time. Good luck. Yep, so pretty much what I was doing a second ago. But first I have to get there. Because I can't cross, the, cross this rocky terrain. Now I can think I can just basically go down. And this sword is stronger, it seems. This was the wrong way, wasn't it? Oh, I can go this way. Yep, it can kill these things. In one hit, which the other sword could not do. 
So now I'm at Matt Crowley's base. Where I actually think it's a good time to what, uh, wrap up this episode. Um, unless... No. So yep, I'll end this episode here and just do a quick save. And I'll see you guys next time. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!